So last week I uploaded a video where I basically tear in all of the crap that YouTube has allowed to happen to its creators over the past year. My goal with this video was to spread awareness about YouTube's severe flaws. Since I feel like not enough people out there truly realize just how bad the situation on YouTube has become. And in the few days after I uploaded this video, a lot of interesting things happened. First of all, the YouTube Rewind got hammered this year. Within a few days, it was already in the top 25 most disliked videos of all time on YouTube. You had multiple big YouTubers coming out and criticizing the Rewind, and you even had people who were in the Rewind coming out and giving some fairly damning reports about how YouTube mistreated them. And I'm really glad to see all of this. It seems like tons of people are finally waking up and seeing through YouTube's tricks. I'm really glad so many people out there are coming out and disliking the Rewind on their own because I'm pretty sure that YouTube tried to prevent my message from getting out to the public. So let me explain my observations. Within the first two days of me uploading my video, the video received around 100,000 views, which is admittedly better than most of my uploads. The engagement numbers for this video were really good as in the most likes I had ever received on a video with only 100,000 views. This archived screenshot shows my video with around 107,000 views and almost 20,000 likes. Over 18% of the people who watched the video to this point pressed the like button. You'd be hard pressed to find a view to like ratio as high as that anywhere on YouTube. Now like I said, this video did really well for about two and a half days after I uploaded it. And then, all of a sudden, it was like the video hit a brick wall. Now normally this wouldn't be cause for concern, since this is how my video analytics usually look. Almost every video I upload gets the most views on day one, and then the view count slowly trails off afterwards. So like I said, I would expect these numbers under normal circumstances. However, these are not normal circumstances, because three days after I uploaded this video, I start to see all sorts of other YouTube Rewind related videos blowing up in my recommended. I keep seeing these videos get tons of views, hundreds of thousands of more views than my video. So at this point, I just think that these videos are getting so many more views than mine because they're just simple compilations. And let's face it, if you're talking about YouTube after 2014, people love their compilations. So I figured that people weren't clicking on my video because it's over 20 minutes long and the average YouTube viewers are too impatient to watch videos that long. But then I thought about it some more and something just didn't add up. My most viewed video this year was 32 minutes long. So the idea that people don't like to click on long videos just didn't make any sense. And besides, among the YouTube Rewind responses getting tons of views was a 17 minute video and a 32 minute video. And in addition to that, hasn't YouTube drilled into our heads over the past few years that watch time is the single most important metric in determining a video's search and discovery? Well in the first two days that my video was online, it got over 1 million minutes of watch time. So you'd think that a video with this much watch time and this much viewer engagement should appear in a ton of people's recommended sections. Because after all, the YouTube Rewind was a huge topic that tons of people were discussing all over YouTube. If you look at the public stats of other videos on the topic, they all showed huge jumps in views around three days after they were uploaded. And that makes perfect sense, because the algorithm is recommending those videos to a trend that has a high demand for viewership. Yet when you compare these stats with my video, it's the complete opposite case. So what exactly is going on here? Well, the reason becomes clear when you dig into the specifics of my analytics. I discovered that less than 20% of the views on this video are coming from suggested videos on YouTube. In fact, this video has had fewer views from suggested videos than it's earned from unknown sources. To compare, I contacted fellow YouTuber Pi, who made one of the YouTube Rewind videos that blew up in popularity. He sent me his advanced analytics and boom, there it is, 77% views from suggested videos. Even if you look at my channel average from last month, which was 45% views from suggested videos, it's still significantly higher than what my YouTube Rewind video received. Based on this evidence, I must reasonably suspect that YouTube interfered with my video's search and discovery metric. I can't think of any other explanation for why my video performed so poorly after that third day. It was a video about a trending topic that earned a ton of watch time over the first two days, and yet despite those clearly successful video traits, YouTube barely promoted my video in anyone's recommendations. And if any of you have different theories as to what happened, I'd love to hear them. 
But for now, I have no choice but to infer that YouTube covertly reduced the extent to which the algorithm promoted my video. In other words, they censored my video from appearing in most people's recommendations. So why did they censor it? First, let me start by saying that I've recently become aware of the inner workings of YouTube thanks to these fantastic videos by CeeLo. This guy basically conducted a comprehensive study of demonetized YouTube videos to identify some sort of trend affecting their search and discovery in the algorithm. And what he found embedded in the source codes of demonetized videos was this line labeled excluded ads followed by a string of several codes. Through his research, CeeLo began to connect some of the numbers with the parameters outlined in Google's advertiser-friendly guidelines. He then correlated these codes with the amount by which each demonetized video appeared in YouTube's related videos, and he identified a clear trend demonstrating that these three-digit codes negatively affected how much the algorithm promotes videos. Basically, he found extensive evidence that if your video gets demonetized within any of these parameters, YouTube will promote it significantly less than they would for normal videos, effectively censoring content that the algorithm views as not friendly for advertisers. Even though CeeLo's original videos on the subject have relatively few views, I believe that his findings are completely legitimate. YouTube openly rejected this claim on Twitter. However, I believe that CeeLo was definitely onto something. Because within a few days of him posting the findings of his research, YouTube hid excluded ads from the viewable source code of videos. This was incredibly suspicious, as it appears that YouTube was trying to hide something that they didn't want us to see. But with that being said, and based on the new information I've observed, I think that YouTube's tweet here is actually telling the truth. In this tweet, YouTube practically admits to censoring videos that don't fit into their advertiser-friendly guidelines. They claim that this censorship is not related to the monetization system. However, I believe that censorship and demonetization on YouTube are just two heads of the same beast. So here are the observations that led me to this conclusion. In my video about the YouTube Rewind, I played the PewDiePie N-bomb clip raw and uncensored. In a separate study conducted by CeeLo about the demonetization bot, he found substantial evidence that YouTube scans the automatically generated captions of your videos in order to determine if it is suitable for advertisers. CeeLo found that keywords like these in the captions of the videos resulted in them being demonetized 100% of the time. But here's the thing though, my YouTube Rewind video was never monetized. I preemptively made this decision so that YouTube would not censor its search and discovery. But as I demonstrated, that's exactly what happened. If my video was never monetized, then how could the algorithm still know to censor it? The only explanation I have is that YouTube has a separate but similar bot that scans all videos, regardless of demonetization, for metadata that violates ad-friendly guidelines. That must be what they are referring to in this tweet. And what do you know? I dug deeper into my analytics and found this. One single lone view from a source labeled YouTube Advertising. Which is odd, since my video never had any ads running on it. And it just so happens that whatever this thing is, viewed my video on December 8th, the same time that my video performance started to suffer. I don't exactly know what I've uncovered here, but one thing's for sure. There's a bunch of stuff going on behind the scenes that YouTube's not telling us. And this system that YouTube has implemented runs far deeper than just demonetization. I understand where YouTube is coming from here. They're ultimately a business, and they're technically allowed to patrol whatever content they want on their site. They already block videos that violate copyright or their terms of service, and they have done so for years. However, YouTube's new form of censorship extends far beyond legal safekeeping. This new censorship treads on what users can and cannot openly say on the platform. This is about YouTube's image. This is about limiting speech that they disagree with. And even though the majority of people would likely agree that the speech they chose to censor is reprehensible, it raises several important questions. Is it ethical to censor discussion in the name of reducing obscenity? Is it fair to limit the performance of controversial videos? And finally, is this setting a dangerous precedent for the future of content creation on YouTube? These are the issues we must seriously discuss moving forward. But for now, let's just sit back and enjoy the holidays. 
as all the giant ruthless corporations in our lives get the gift of having even more power over the pathetic masses. <laughs>